This video is going to be looking at the addition and subtraction of numbers in standard form. To start with we're going to look at numbers which have the same power of 10. The most important thing when having a question with addition and subtraction of numbers in standard form is don't convert them to ordinary numbers. Keep them in standard form. If you convert them to ordinary numbers and back again, you may get the correct answer, but you won't get any marks. This is our first question. 2.37 times 10 to the 3 plus 4.65 times 10 to the 3. The one thing you must remember when adding or subtracting numbers in standard form is you can only add or subtract if the powers of 10 are the same. In this case, both are times 10 to the 3. They are the same. We can add those numbers together quite easily. I'm going to write them one under the other because that's how I do my additions. So I'm going to write them as 2.37 times 10 to the 3 plus 4.65 times 10 to the 3. There the powers of 10 are the same. So I'm going to add them together and whatever I get is going to be times 10 to the 3. So this is 2.37 plus 4.65, that comes to 7.02 times 10 to the 3. Quite easy. The second example, 6.05 times 10 to the 6 plus 7.67 times 10 to the 6. Again, the powers of 10 are the same. They're both 10 to the 6, so I can add them together, and I'm going to get something times 10 to the 6. And if I add together 6.05 and 7.67, I'm going to get 13.72 times 10 to the 6. However, 13 is not a number between 1 and 10, so this is actually not in standard form. Um, before I submit my answer, I've got to convert this to standard form, which means instead of 13.72, it's actually got to be 1.372. What I've done here is I've made this first part a power of 10 smaller. So to keep the whole number the same size, I've got to make the second part a power of 10 bigger. So instead of 10 to the 6, it's going to become 10 to the 7. And that's my answer. In this next question, I've got matching powers of 10, so I want, and it's a subtraction, so I'm going to do 2.25 times 10 to the 4, take away the 6.43 times 10 to the 4. Both are 10 to the 4, so when I subtract, I'm going to get a times 10 to the 4, and if I do 2.25, take away 6.43, I'm going to get minus 4.18 times 10 to the 4, and that's my final answer. This next question, it's a subtraction again, but this time the numbers are very close together. So if I perform the subtraction, it's going to be 7.36 times 10 to the 5, take away 6.65 times 10 to the 5. The same powers of 10, both 10 to the 5th, so my answer is going to be times 10 to the 5th. But if I perform the subtraction, 7.36 take away 6.65, I get 0.71 times 10 to the fifth. Now 0.71, this first part of the number, is not between 1 and 10. And so it's not in standard form. So I've got to convert this into standard form by making it 7.1. Now I've got a number between 1 and 10. But I've made this first part of the number 10 times bigger, a power of 10 bigger. So the second part of the number I must make a power of 10 smaller. So it goes to 10 to the 4 and that's my answer here. 7.1 times 10 to the 4. This next example has negative powers of 10. Both numbers are expressed as 10 to the minus 2. Um, they're the same power of 10 so I can add them as requested. Um, 9.05 times 10 to the minus 2 plus 5.68 times 10 to the minus 2, both 10 to the minus 2, so the answer is going to be times 10 to the minus 2, and adding 9.05 plus 
5.68 is going to give me 14.73 times 10 to the minus 2. However, this first part of the number is not between 1 and 10, so this answer is not in standard form. I've got to change it to standard form by making this number between 1 and 10, so I'm going to reduce it by a power of 10 to 1.473. Now I've reduced this first part of the number by a power of 10, so I've got to increase the second part of the number by a power of 10 to make sure the number stays the same. So 10 to the minus 2, if I increase minus 2, it becomes minus 1. Remember, minus 1 is bigger than minus 2. So my final answer is 1.473 times 10 to the minus 1. I'm now going to look at addition and subtraction of standard form numbers with different powers of 10. In this addition, the two numbers in standard forms have different powers of 10. This one is a 10 to the 6, and this one is a times 10 to the 7. You cannot add or subtract numbers with different powers of 10. So you have to change one of the numbers so it has the same power of 10 as the other. Now I personally recommend you always change to the biggest power of 10. In this case, 10 to the 7th is the biggest power, so I'm going to take the other number and change it to 10 to the 7th. So this number here, 4.35 times 10 to the 6, is going to become a times 10 to the 7. Now in changing to 10 to the 7, I've made the second part of this number a power of 10 bigger. That means to keep the number the same size, I've got to make the first part a power of 10 smaller. So that makes the 4.35 become 0.435. I'm now going to add this version of the number to the 2.01 times 10 to the 7. So that gives me 0.435 times 10 to the 7 plus 2.01 times 10 to the 7. The powers of 10 are the same, both 10 to the 7, so my answer now will have a times 10 to the 7. And if I add the first parts, I go and get 2.0. Four, four, five times 10 to the 7. In this next addition, I've got a times 10 to the 4 and a times 10 to the 3. They're different, I can't add them. I've got to make the smaller number into the highest power of 10. So that 10 to the 3, I've got to write as a times 10 to the 4. So I've made this second part a power of 10 Bigger, so this first part here has to be a power of 10 smaller, so that's going to be 0.412. So now I can go and add the 7.72 times 10 to the 4 and this 0.412 times 10 to the 4. Same powers of 10, so they can add together and they'll give the 10 to the 4 is the answer and 7.72 add 0.412 is going to be 8.132. So my final answer there is 8.132 times 10 to the 4. In this next question, I'm subtracting. The powers of 10 are different, so I've got to make them the same. The largest power of 10 is 10 to the 5, so I make the smaller number into a 10 to the 5. So this 10 to the 4, increases by a power of 10 to 10 to the 5, so the first part of the number must decrease by a power of 10 to make it 0.203. So that's the number I'm going to subtract. I'm going to have 5.65 times 10 to the 5, take away 0.203 times 10 to the 5. They're both 10 to the 5 now, so when I subtract I'm going to get an answer which is 10 to the 5 and 5.65 take away 0.203 is going to give me 5.447 times 10 to the 5. In this last question, I've got negative powers of 10, but exactly the same principle applies. I can only add or subtract numbers if they're at the same power of 10. Uh, we have a 10 to the minus 4 and a 10 to the minus 5, so I've got to change them so they're 
largest power of 10 matches. The largest power of 10 is in actual fact minus 4, 10 to the minus 4. This is where some people get confused because they think minus 4 is less than minus 5. But if you think about it on the number line, it's not, is it? Minus 4 is actually bigger than minus 5. So this second number I'm changing to a 10 to the minus 4. So to do that, I've made this 10 I've made this a power of 10 bigger. So the first part of this number, I've got to make a power of 10 smaller, and so it becomes 0 0.731. And those are the numbers I'm going to add together. So I'm going to do 6.43 times 10 to the minus 4 added to 0 0.731 times 10 to the minus 4. The powers are the same, so when I add them, I'm going to get the answer being 10 to the minus 4 also. And if I add 6.43 to 0 0.731, I'm going to get 7.161 times 10 to the minus 4.